Hey there guys, it's been a while since I made my last YouTube tutorial, so we're going to get back on that. And actually, I had a request to make a tutorial on how to jailbreak an iPod. Um, so I'm going to do that, and we're going to cover every single iPod model. I'm not doing the iPhone one, due to the roof, due to the fact of the unlocking aspect, which I am not aware of. I have absolutely no idea what it really even totally means. But um, I do know with an iPod Touch how to jailbreak it, and... Um, how to make it awesome-tastic like that. So actually, I'm going to show you one feature right now since my webcam decided to crap out on me. I'm going to get the IP address of my computer, open Chicken of the VNC, and connect to it. Okay, here's my iPod. Okay, I've uh, jailbroken this, obviously, as you can see. I've got this mod that allows me to scroll through pages, like you see here. Here's a page break. You, it's streamless scrolling, so you can um, <laughs> utterly streamlessly scroll. I can go all the way to the back. And here we see that I have Cydia, Black Rain, Winterboard, and Installius, all jailbroken stuff. So let's get on the jailbreaking aspect. First thing you've, you need to do is download the application called Black Rain. Okay, Black Rain, it's a rain drop. I'll show you where to do that right now. Safari, go up here, go to Google, and type B L A C K R A 1 N. And that's the first website, blackrain.com. Okay, it brings you here and it shows this weird, crazy looking guy who looks like he might not even have a shirt on. It's kind of weird. So if you're a Windows person, click Windows. If you're Mac, click, click the Mac. It's, it's kind of obvious. And if you want to donate, go ahead. He's awesome. Okay, so you got Black Rain, and uh, here's the app. Make it rain. So plug in your iPod, connect it to um, the computer, shut down iTunes, quit iTunes. Make sure iTunes is quit before you go ahead and do this. Okay, quit iTunes and you simply click make it rain. Now note, before we do this, first gen iPods, first gen iPod touches, um, they will work seamlessly, uh, no no problems with the jailbreak, it will be great except you'll get lower speeds, it will slow your iPod down. Second gen, you won't have as much low speed, but you're, it, it's still going to slow it down some, um, and you can reboot normally just like you can the first gen. Now the third generation iPod touches, the brand new ones, there is a um, thing that they're working on right now where if I were to turn this iPod off right now and turn it back on, it would give me the thing saying connect to iTunes. Oh crap, that means I have to restore. No, you don't. All you do is plug it back into the computer, close down iTunes, and click make it rain again. <laughs> make it rain again. And you click make it rain again and uh, it will go back to your current jailbroken state and all your downloads of the jailbroken stuff, everything will all still be there. It's just kind of like reinitiating the boot. It's like turning on and off a car. When you turn um, back on the car, your radio station is still the same. Um, none of that gets lost. Okay, It's like that. Um, so I'm running a third gen touch, so if I were to turn it off right now, it would say it. So you simply click make it rain. We'll do that says, oh look, we automatically lost connection here because it's no longer connected. Right now I see the Apple logo. Now it says connect to iTunes. It's entering recovery. And now actually we see the picture of that guy. Um, he's modded it like that. And it says in jail, enjoy your jailbroken iPod. And it still shows the picture of the guy. iTunes pops up. We'll just click OK here. Still showing the picture of the guy. We can close out iTunes. Still showing the guy. And uh, if the guy keeps showing there and won't go away, just leave it. Let it keep going. Let it keep showing. Still showing the guy. Um, and you can quit Black Rain now. Uh, you can unplug your iPod too. It's fine. Oh, and the screen just dimmed, but it's still showing the guy. And there, we're back. And it says sync in progress. Perfect. So just like that. And now you have a jailbroken iPod. It's that easy. Um, and you can now quit Black Rain. So we'll reconnect here. Go to the chicken of the VNC. And the great thing about these jailbroken third gen touches is you lose no speed. Everything is just as fast as it normally is, which is wonderful. Um, it's all fast, it's snappy. Let me just change the color quality with the VNC thing here. Okay, here we go. Uh, and the same with scrolling. So we'll scroll over to City right now. And um, let me just show you a couple packages that are a, a need be. Okay, well, actually, no, we've jailbroken the iPod. City won't be there. You'll see Black Rain. If we open Black Rain here, It'll open up and we'll see we can install either Cydia or Rock. Click Cydia and then click Install and uh, let it do its thing. And actually the iPod's going to want to either reboot or respring after this. If it wants to reboot, let it reboot and when it boots back up you're going to see the Connect to iTunes thing. Simply plug it back into the computer and it's, it, iTunes is going to open and say it's found in recovery mode. Just simply click Make it Rain in Black Rain again and it will 
go back to how it was before. So to reboot, you just have to always quote unquote re jailbreak. Okay, so now we've installed Cydia. Open up Cydia, go over to search once it's done loading data, and it's going to ask you for a couple other things. When it comes up with the one screen, hit um, user, your user graphical, not a hacker or command line. Um, your user graphical, and uh, update everything when the screen comes up asking you to update. Say update all. <clears throat> Alright, so now once we've got it here, so go over to search and you're gonna click on the search link and you're gonna type in M-A-K-E, M-A-K-E, and I-T, no spaces, I-T. Make it mine. That's the one you're gonna download. This allows you to change the text up here that would say iPod to whatever you want. This one's just cool. So go ahead and install that. Um, and after you can actually come back into Cydia and uninstall it. The next one you're going to install is V-E-E-N, Veen-C, right here. It allows you to connect to your iPod like I am now. I actually have another tutorial on that search for, search around for it. That's Veen-C. Um, then download SAF, oh, right, SAF. You're going to download the Safari download plugin. So search for that, and it will automatically download the Safari or actually, instead of uh, doing the download plugin, download the Safari download toggle, and that will also install this. And at the same time, it will install something called Springboard, which allows you to drag across the um, clock bar up here, drag to the right, and it pops down with this menu where you can then configure stuff. So I can right now download stuff from iTunes, or sorry, from Safari. Now, hey, let's say, um, okay, I've heard you can download uh, applications, any app for free. It's true, you can. Open up Cydia, go down to the bottom, go to Manage. My iPod is playing music. I didn't tell it to. Pause. Ugh, I hate that song. I'm not actually kidding, I hate that song. Okay, we'll go to Manage, go to Sources, and this will allow you to download any application for free. You're going to go to Edit, and you're going to click Add. You're going to type in C-Y-D-I-A C-Y-D-I-A dot H-A-C-K-U-L-O dot U-S Cydia dot hack U L O dot U S and hit add source. It's going to tell you we've had reports that this is actually illegal. Add anyway, just click add anyway and it will do it. Then come back over to sections, scroll down a little bit, and you're going to be looking for um, hack U L O dot U S. Click it. You're going to go ahead and install Installius, which will install everything else it needs. Um, to function. Once install this, it's installed, it might have you reboot, I'm not sure. Um, if it does, you know, do what I said before. Okay, now we'll go into install this, and I actually really, really want the Shazam and Cour and Tour, or whatever that app is called. Now, due to the popularity of Installius, they get almost 3 million hits a day. There's currently a troll bridge, which means you have to type an answer to a really, really tough question in there. Now, these questions are usually Googleable, and uh, you'll get the answer. Like yesterday, the one was cavern. That was the answer. Um, I just Google them. And uh, since Installius is so popular, its server gets so many hits that it's really quite impossible to use the Installius app. So I'm going to give you a little backdoor. Um, if you would like to stop the tutorial here, feel free. If you would like to let me continue to rant and actually tell you how to get apps um, and SS, be able to access the iPod from your computer, continue to watch. This might be a three-part tutorial if you have the time.